Good morning, Tehmina Khan is here in TK Maths is fun. In today's video, we will see what is covered under the heading of the four operations, which is a part of the syllabus of O-level mathematics. And for the rest of my videos, you can refer TK Maths, the blog address and the website address. And this topic is not only a part of O-level, it is of any year 11, year 5, uh, year 6, 7. So this is a very basic concept, so everybody can learn from here, those who have problem in understanding it for the rest of the videos you can just see here this is my website address you can see i have designed the page which is very user friendly you click on the topic and you find videos over there which i have posted so far so it is a quick way to recap all the concepts of the topic very quickly from here so let's see according to syllabus the requirement is four operations you should be able to handle what are mixed fraction, whole number, decimal number, and order of the operations. So this covers many types of question. I have taken few uh, particular type today in first video. To make it short, I am not taking all the uh, concepts in one video. So if you recall, which is called board mass or bid mass, in short, we try to handle questions or I mean solving um, problems where parentheses or brackets are solve first then if they have power then it is handled after that moving or seeing the number from left to right from multiplication and division whatever operation is coming first we solve that and after that from minus and plus whatever is coming first we solve that so this is the order we follow now if you look at this question there are three operations i'm talking about part a division addition and multiplication so first of all, I will handle these two because we handle division or multiplication, whatever is coming first when we are reading numbers from left to right. After that, I will handle this and then I will add the two results. This is what I have done here. You can see 24 divided by 6 is 4. And I have just written here one extra step not needed. Sorry. Um, and 9 times 2 is 18. So 4 plus 18 is 22. Now, regarding this part B, this is decimal multiplication. I have seen multiple times that students actually start multiplying the numbers like this. You see, they write it down and then they do it. Because everybody is different. Some people do it mentally. That is also fine. But doing like this takes a lot of time. So I would recommend those who cannot do it mentally, they change these number into fraction form. 0.4 after decimal it's one digit so it will be upon 10 after decimal there are two digits so it will be upon 100 now once you have done 4 upon 10 and 200 2 upon 100 multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator so 4 twos are 8 and 1000 any number divided by 10 100 1000 is always very simple to handle so you just have to jump decimal three places to the left this is what i have done here right so this is the easy way to handle multiplication of decimal numbers. Now, if you see here, this is mixed number and these are thirds. You know, thirds are um, those numbers which have non-perfect square in the under root, like root 2, root 3, root 5. These are thirds. How to handle them? Let's see part 1 first. There are two ways to do it. The easy way, which does not confuse most of the student, is to change mixed number into improper fraction. What is that? 4 times 7 is 28 plus 129. 29 upon 4. Similarly, 3, 6 are 18, 19, 20. After that, because there is minus sign, even if it is plus, whenever there is plus or minus sign, we take LCM. So if you take LCM, it will be 12. So 87 minus 80 is 7 upon 12. So I have seen certain students who handle whole numbers separately and fractions separately. I have explained that method also. Now, if you are doing that method, you need to be a little careful about it. Especially in this case where I have taken, it is lengthy method because it was a little tricky question. But this is possible to do very easily also. Now, if you are handling whole number separately, it means... The meaning of this question, I mean this part, mixed number is 7 plus 1 upon 4. This means 6 plus 2 upon 3. If you remove the bracket, it is actually 7 minus 6. Right? 
Now, 7 minus 6 is 1 and what is left in fraction 1 upon 4 minus 2 upon 3? And then you will deal is the way you have done earlier, taking the LCM. Now, what you have to be careful about is that 8 has minus. So, you see numeral value of 8 is bigger, so sign will be minus. So, 3 minus 8 will be minus 5. So, it will be 1 minus 5 upon 12. <coughs> and after that, you have to take LCM again to subtract it. And you will get the same answer, 7 upon 12. Right? So, you can do either method. And in this case, number outside the third is multiplied by the number outside the third. So, 5, 3 is a 15. Root 2 and root 2 means numbers inside the third are multiplying. I don't need to do it. We know that root 2 into root 2 is 2. But I just showed it in case if these numbers are different, then what do you do? So, basically, you multiply. And root 4 is 2, so 15 to the 30. So part A is same because I have taken from past paper, so I have taken the question as it is. So this is exactly same, but this time I have just changed them into mixed number, sorry, improper fraction. I took LCM and subtracted it. Now why did I take this example? If you see here, what are you getting here? This is called improper fraction. You do not leave answer in improper fraction. Then you write it in the mixed number. This is just a convention. It is not marked wrong, but depends. And here again, I'm changing it into fraction. And then after that, earlier we had multiplication, but now we have division, so it will be flipped. And then you will simplify it, cancel it. And then it will be 42 upon 1 into 10 upon 1. So it will be 420. I hope all you all of you understand when division changes into multiplication why the fraction get in worse. Here also you will take LCM and cross multiply. I have just taken two examples in case because you know people who are in class 6 or 7 they need good recap here. So this is how you will take LCM. Whenever there is plus minus take LCM. Sometimes students make mistake and what is the mistake? When there is multiplication between the two fractions, even in that case, they take LCM by mistake. Don't do that. LCM is taken only and only when there is plus or minus between the terms. So in this case, it will be simple multiplication, 8 upon 45. In this case, the mistake which is made is, or I would say not mistake, but lengthy method, they multiply 2 by 4, 2 by 5. Don't do that. Simplify the parenthesis first. So 4 minus 5 is 1 and then open the bracket and simplify it, right? Here, do not try to change this into multiplication and flipping at the same time. Mostly mistake happen. So do one at a time. First of all, change it into improper fraction. After that, change division into multiplication and flip it and then simplify it, right? So thank you very much for watching this video. Please press um, share it with your friends and press like and subscribe if you like the video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.